everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's vlog i thought i would start off with some home updates i have a few um, apartment decor updates that i wanted to share with you so first up is our bedroom okay so if you watched my last video you know i was talking about getting a lumbar pillow so this finally came it's from etsy i will link her etsy shop below it is such a beautiful good quality pillow um, she sells cases but you can also get inserts um, but really really pretty I already had the green pillow so I thought that that complemented it really well with the wood and all of that and then moving on to the lamps so I think I mentioned this but I thrifted the lamp bases I got it from the site apartment deco um, the lamp bases I thought were really really pretty I thought it had a very like vintage feel to it uh, the lampshades were so ugly though so that's a little pro tip when thrifting like furniture and lamps I guess specifically the bases look at that and then you can easily buy new shades which is what I did so I got these from Amazon and I thought it turned out so well this is the other home update I have these two new chairs they came in they're from Target really good CB2 dupe um, they were much more affordable than CB2 and I think they look so good add more seating obviously and they're surprisingly super comfortable I was nervous because you know ordering furniture online without testing it out but they're super comfy and they're in this like boucle fabric which is just a little bit more forgiving because I know you might think I'm crazy for getting a cream or ivory color with a child but his, his rocker is in this and it's surprisingly forgiving but I'll keep you updated what I'm currently doing is I am laying out and trying on some outfits for an upcoming outfit video uh, that I'm gonna be filming you'll probably see later in this vlog uh, but I'm excited about it because it's been a minute since I've filmed an outfit or a fashion video uh, and I can't wait so I'm just putting together some cute outfits and I thought it would be a perfect time to talk about this video's sponsor which is Naywai and if you've been watching my videos you've heard me talk about them before since when I was pregnant I absolutely love their bras so like I said I've been wearing and loving Naywai for well over a year now uh, and specifically I love their Barely Zero collection I'm currently wearing the new Barely Zero fixed cup clasp bra and I love them they just have such great support they just are so buttery smooth they have a silicone lining on the band here which is very very makes it very very breathe breathable can't speak um, but it's overall just a really comfy easy everyday bra it goes under clothing so well I can just throw on a shirt and jeans and get stuff done around the house and I feel like I'm wearing an outfit even so like I said they have this new one which has like a traditional bra clasp in the back um, but then they also have the barely zero fixed cup wavy bra which doesn't have it's more of like the ones that I've talked about before uh, it doesn't have a clasp just has a band in the back these are so so comfortable I've literally slept in these uh, so yeah they also have a ton of other really cute things like this shirt I'm wearing is from Naywai so they have a bunch of different sites on or stuff on their site not just bras and underwear even though I highly recommend them they have other stuff if you are interested as well so if you want to try out the new barely zero bras or any of their other pieces that they have on their site I will have a link in the description box for you and I also have a coupon code which is TC25 and you'll get 25% off your next Naywai purchase so definitely go check that out we're back again shooting some backyard roses I'm actually shooting two videos I'm shooting backyard roses some new pieces that are coming out and I'm shooting an outfit video that I'm really excited about but I thought I'd show you the space that we're in we're in a big warehouse style or like lofted style place this time in Williamsburg so I'll show you around <laughs> we've got a swing Similar. Definitely similar. Yeah, you're right. This is really cool. Yeah, this is cool. I think we're gonna shoot in front of this you for some of it. Lights, props, and it's all functional. We'd love to see it. Beautiful view. <laughs> How many is the seamless up there? Huh. Yeah, it's a huge space. So lots of room to move around. To hang out. 
And that's pretty much it. Nice, here we go. We got our sea sands, we got a steamer, all the toys I need. I'm gonna start taking out some of the pieces and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what's new and what's coming out. Very excited. This is the first sweater dress. Looks like this. It's so cozy, it's thick. It's like more of like a dressed up type of sweater dress. It's cute, it's perfect for like a date night or a girls night, brunch. I love it. look we've got this sweater which is so cute it's kind of like half off the shoulder love it and then we did trousers which I'm really excited about I'm gonna show you a better angle of them because I really like them they're in like a chocolate brown color um, and they're so cute get a I love them they're kind of wide leg they have a little button detail here these big pockets they're very flattering and very comfy so I have some groceries here I thought I would do a little grocery haul I don't know if I've ever done a grocery haul on my channel like ever even in a vlog and I love watching them so I thought I would show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's because I recently went I saw they had a bunch of fall items out and Trader Joe's is kind of one of those grocery stores that you go to get like fun specialty items but like all of your essential groceries you have to get somewhere else at least that's how I feel um, so I got a bunch of fun new like snacky things that I thought I'd share with you a lot of this I have not tried before but some of them I have so why don't we start with the frozen cold stuff first so I can put it away um, so this I actually have tried before, and it is the orange chicken. I feel like it's a fan favorite. Um, this one is great, Patrick loves this. Um, and I like that it comes with like two portions, so you don't have to make like all of it at once. Um, so this is great, got that. Another one I've already tried before is the sweet potato gnocchi, which I love. I know, I feel like some people hate this. Um, I don't like it on its own, if that makes sense like as a meal I feel like I get bored of the flavor but as like a side to like a chicken breast or like something like that I feel like it it tastes really good and it doesn't like you don't get sick of the flavor um, because I feel like this just as a meal on its own is just kind of blah but as a side dish it's really good another one of my favorites is the chicken soup dumplings these usually are always gone at the Trader Joe's I go to um, but they had so many so I was really excited about this these are really really delicious really like these a lot two new things that I'm very excited about this one is a fun snacky thing it's butternut squash mac and cheese bites yum um, so like essentially like fried mac and cheese but butternut squash so I'm really excited to try this because I love, love, love butternut squash. Perfect fall food item. Another one of these mini cones. These are open because these didn't stand a chance with Patrick because he's such an ice cream fanatic. Um, but I've had the mini cones in like the vanilla chocolate version, but these are pumpkin ginger and these are so, so good. So basically what I describe these as, so I'm not a huge pumpkin spice person but i love the pumpkin cream cold brew like the pumpkin cream cold foam at starbucks like that is so good that's right up my alley and these taste exactly like that cold foam they don't taste like coffee or anything but the pumpkin cream cold foam this is what these little mini cones taste like and they are addicting they're very very good this i'm excited to try um we have not opened this but this is salted maple ice cream which sounds delicious i feel like it's fall very fall themed because maple leaves you know that whole thing salted maple ice cream with a salted maple flavored swirl yum it's just all pumpkin at trader joe's right now and i just really felt like indulging in that pumpkin life so <laughs> i got pumpkin cream cheese because why not i have a feeling it's going to be similar to that ice cream cone the pumpkin cream it doesn't say pumpkin spice so i'm holding out for the fact that it's not going to be like that spice 
flavor. It's gonna be like more of a pumpkin creamy flavor, which I love. Um, and then this one I am so unsure about and I don't have high hopes for, but I just had to try it. It's the pumpkin spice hummus, which sounds really sus, but I'm gonna give it a try. I will let you know if it's good or if I like it. I'm sure somebody would like it if, it, if, I, think I, if I think it sucks. I got two different creamers and I'm very excited because I have not tried these and I've seen them on TikTok and people really like them. Um, the brown sugar creamer and then I got the non-dairy oat beverage maple. So I'm gonna add this to my coffee and try if I like maple, brown sugar, maybe I'll try both. Get crazy with it. So those look really good. Now moving on to the dry goods. So I got some like spices, let's start there. So I got the everything but the bagel classic i also try i'm trying the everything but the elote seasoning blend which i think is going to be really good don't know what i'm going to put this on yet but i'm excited about this and then this julia told me to get it is the crunchy chili onion um or she didn't tell me to get it she said it's really good if you fry your eggs in it uh so i've heard good things about it it's like basically just an olive oil with dried garlic and peppers I got two pasta sauces. One is the Kaicho, Kaicho Pepe, <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and then just a Pomodoro, like classic red pasta sauce. So got those. Speaking of pastas, I got pasta. So I just got like a classic regular pasta. And then look at these, they're pumpkins. Like I can't. Fall pasta, butternut squash, or maybe they're butternut squash. They look like pumpkins though. Then for little snackies, the first thing I got were the fig and olive crisps. I've had these before. They're really good with cheeses. I love a good like brie cheese and these are so good with that. And these are totally just like an aesthetic thing, but I had to get them. They're shaped as leaves. And I just feel like why not? They're literally just tortilla chips, corn tortilla chips. But I think I'm gonna try this with the pumpkin spice hummus. And we're gonna see what this fall experience is like, and if it's good. But they're shaped as leaves, which I just think is so cute. Cheese crunchies, never had these, but they look delicious and love a good Cheeto. And these kinda look like them. So I feel like they can't be bad. And they're baked, so hopefully that means they're better for me. Cashews, I'm a cashew nut person so these are my snacking ones of choice um so i just got just a bag of cashews yeah i feel like we got a lot of sweets but i'm excited about that cranberry and white chocolate oatmeal cookies yeah so if you know me you know my favorite cookie is an oatmeal raisin i'm like a grandma um oatmeal raisin or like an oatmeal chocolate chip so cranberry white chocolate oatmeal i immediately grabbed immediately i am over at carrie's AKA my new nail tech. Ooh. Ooh. Hi. I've been doing my own like gel nails or like just a gel manicure for years. I just always like doing my own nails and painting and all that. And then I feel like when like the Apray gel yeah, extension yeah, yeah. became like a fad, like you and Julia would go get them a lot. I started seeing people do them out at home. And this was post COVID cause you were yeah, pregnant we were, when you were going yeah, to get them done. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I was like, I think I could do that myself. I bought the whole kit online. This site was called Beyond Polish, has the entire thing. You can also get it on like the Apray website. $99, pays for itself in one. And she's become quite the pro. She's been doing Julia and I's nails now. But we've for... done, you've done probably five of I've them. I've done five. I've done probably 10, 15 And they sets. look really good. She's done art. She's done, you've done. That's, I'm not as comfortable No, you did with. the, you did the heart. Oh, the Valentine's Day was Valentine's my favorite. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, so this is a different color that's on my nails, but she's going to get this like beautiful true ruby red. I know, I'm okay, really It's like excited. out of focus. We'll show you later. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching Tell Me Lies. Very toxic So toxic, show. so good. <laughs> She's a pro. That's right. Now Nine we... million dollars a set. <laughs> I can't wait to see them with color. They look so good. They look amazing. Oh, you are the best. Oh my God. 
Awesome. I love this new hobby of yours. Thank you. We love a girl. We love a DIY. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Ooh, Ooh they're set. so pretty. It's like a reward. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Spicy mayo. Yummy, yummy. Yo, 